At that time, when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, Today as we celebrate the feast of Blessed Peter Donders, I am reminded of this meaningful phrase, Pain is real and so is hope. His mighty sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, when we think about and when we examine the life of Blessed Peter Donders, he was a person who in all its extreme form experienced pain. As a child, he was born to a very poor family. So he experienced tremendous pain of poverty. He struggled for his life. As he grew up, he experienced the pain of rejection because he wanted to be a priest and not many encouraged it. In fact, many congregations rejected him, his plea to become a priest, and so he experienced the pain of rejection. As a missionary, he chose to work in a place called Suriname. While there was no one else who volunteered to go to this place where he would be experiencing different types of illnesses, epidemic, and so on. He chose to go there and as a result, he experienced tremendous pain. He experienced pain from the whites of the time who exploited the people and he was also part of it, struggling to bring dignity to the slaves. He, ex he experienced pain because of the epidemic of the time, something like what we are experiencing today, the pandemic. He experienced pain as a priest who worked for the lepers. At the end of his time, my dear friends, he became one of the lepers himself and experienced a tremendous physical pain because of the leprosy. What's so great about Blessed Peter Dantes was that despite of the pain, he was able to radiate hope, mercy, love and care for the people who were with him. When we compare the two great people that we are remembering today, Blessed Peter Dantes and Blessed Devasahayam Pillai, both of them teach us two different aspects of pain for us. While Blessed Peter Dondas teaches the importance of going beyond the pain and showing care despite of experiencing pain, Deva Sahayam Pillai teaches us the aspect of tolerating pain amidst the people who are persecuting because of faith. Today, my dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate and remember the peace of these two great people, you and I are challenged amidst the pain that people are experiencing. Are we someone who was able to give that care with generous heart like God our Father? Or are we people who join hands with others to inflict pain. I think the need of the hour is to become like these two great men who had the ability 
to tolerate pain and bring care at the most important aspect of one's life. If there is one ministry that we all need to take up today, my dear friends, is the ministry to care for one another. And these two people were able to rejoice with that hope, reach out to people with care, especially blessed Peter Donders, was because he was so close to Jesus. We pray in this Eucharist that we may have the grace like Peter Donders to bear pain, to tolerate pain, yet reach out to the people with hope.